Welcome everybody. On this video, I will show you how to fix blue screen boot loop in Windows 11 with error message saying that your device ran into a problem and needs to be restart. Stop code, system thread exception not handled. This error may result for installing incompatible Windows update or driver in Windows 10 or Windows 8 as well. To fix this problem, do the following. Press and hold power button for 7 seconds to force stops the computer. Power it on again. Once you see the spinning dots or Windows logo, press the power button for 7 seconds or until the computer powered off completely. Repeat previous steps for 2 additional times or until appearance of preparing automatic repair or diagnosing your PC on screen. From automatic repair or recovery screen, select advanced options or see advanced repair options to continue. Select troubleshoot option and then select advanced options. If you are unable to boot into Windows recovery environment, you have to create a bootable USB of Windows in another computer or using your mobile. Refer to video description to see how to create a bootable USB in your mobile and how to boot from it. From advanced recovery menu, select startup settings and then click on restart. Press F4 key from keyboard to boot into safe mode. Right click on start menu and then select event viewer option. Expand windows logs and then select system option. Scroll down to locate the recent critical event, which indicates that the computer rebooted due to a system failure. See what is the first event below the critical error that failed to start, to know what is the driver or app that led to system failure. In my laptop, the adapter driver of VMware Virtual Network is the source of blue screen error, because it is the last event executed before appearance of critical event. Notice that all previous events below VMware event executed successfully. After determining the error source, close Event View app and open Device Manager to remove the problematic driver. Open Control Panel and then Start Device Manager, or right-click on Start icon, and then select Device Manager. Click on View Panel and then select Show Hidden Devices option. Locate the problematic driver and remove it. In my laptop, I will remove all drivers related to VMware Workstation app, because it interfered with the recent Windows update. If the blue screen error appears after updating a specific driver in your computer, you can try to remove that update only without removing the entire driver as followings. Double click on the problematic device to open properties. Navigate to driver panel and then click on roll back driver to restore previous version. Select one reason for rolling back and then click on yes to confirm your changes. Let's restarting to see the result. As you can see, the computer restarted successfully without blue screen of death error. If the previous solution not helped, you can disable automatic restart after system failure as followings. Open command prompt and type this command. WMIC Rico Viros set auto reboot equals false. Close command prompt and then click on continue option to restart your computer to desktop. If both solutions not worked in your computer, refer to description to watch the other video with more solutions and more details. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.